whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. If I'm a gangbanger, I'm transgressing the law. Therefore, I'm a sinner. Read that again. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. If I'm an adulterer, Those are the steps. And so we turn unto thee with all their heart. Bro, let me ask you a question. You believe in God? What does God require of us? Love. That's it? You be John 5 3. Love. So God said love, right? Just to, so we can get a uh, clear understanding. You got it? Read. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. Now let me show you how, what it means about his commandments are not grievous, right? It's a commandment that all men should have a beard, not shave their beard off. And to show you how not grievous that that law is, if you wanted to, could you grow a beard? If you wanted to, because it's not hard to do. Now if I say jump off the ground and levitate here for five minutes while, without the aid of a machine, you wouldn't be able to do that. That would be something that's very, very hard. But for a man to grow his beard is a sign to show the Most High that you love him because the love of God is to keep his commandments. So what else does law, I mean love entail? And one more thing, what, what else does love entail? Is it that I come across there and give you a hug? Is that love, is that the love you're talking about? See, we gotta go by the Bible. Cause that, con that concept of love has actually been taught by a homosexual white man. That we should love everybody, just love. Just that blanketed word of love. This is what love is. John, chapter 14 and verse 15. If ye love me, now Christ is saying if you love me, I, I, we're gonna, we got a way of proving it. If you love me, keep my commandments. So if you are not keeping the commandments that Christ laid down, you hate his guts. So bro, what should you do now that you heard the word? Grow a beard. That's the first, the first sin that we see. A man is not supposed to walk around with a shaved beard. A woman is not supposed to walk around looking like a man. Those are what you call sins. You're not supposed to walk around doing these things. You must find out what sin is and then change your ways. Interracial marriage is a sin. That's a sin. I don't know if that was a jitney or not, I'm just throwing it out there. Because the black man loves the black, white woman. For reasons unknown, I don't know. But guess what? That black woman loves the white man because she don't look at you as the God of the household. She look at the white man as God because that's who she depend on. You're not allowed to be the leader in the house. She drives him out of the house with her mouth because she is a loud mouth, stubborn woman. That's why 66% of them are single. That's why, because they want to be the leaders over us. But that's not what God said. God said to so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans that you are the leaders of the nation of Israel. That's right. That it's your job to find out these laws, statutes, and commandments and go teach your people. I, I, I had to hear what he was saying. Give me Romans 6 and 23. You enslaved the whole nation of people. Yeah. Read. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. You hear that? God said, these are not our words, but God said the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death, brother. You heard that, right? What is what is our sin? What is sin? Let me, 
Let me come back. Let me talk to you for a minute, brother. Yeah. First John chapter three verse four. Whosoever committed sin. That's the topic of discussion. Whosoever committed sin. Transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Now, sin is the transgression of the law. Now, I can't go behind to the unseen part of you, right? I can only go off of questions I ask you in outward appearance, right? Yeah, um, Leviticus 19 and 27, and then give me uh, Numbers 15 and 30. What is sin again? Death. No, what is sin? Transgression of the law. Now we're going to go and see what Christ says concerning commandments. But uh, you got that? Read. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. It is saying, don't make baldness upon thy head, nor mar, meaning destroy the natural line of your beard. You're supposed to walk around with your beard complete, not you, you trim it. I'm not saying, I'm saying the marring part, meaning destroy the natural line of your beard, but you got a chin strap. Can't do that. You got Numbers 15 and 38? Read. Numbers! So there's nothing more important than this right now because this gets you eternal life. How? Uh, okay, how? So, so, give me John 14 and 15. Mm. So is all of the laws done away with or is it just the animal sacrifice? Let's see, let's see. Because you're just, you're, you're, at a un, you're at a misunderstanding of what you read or what you were taught. We could clarify that, brother. That's what we're saying to you. You got it? Three. John chapter 14 and verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. It's Christ saying, if you love me, keep my commandments. What, is this, what are his commandments? Is, is that it? Give me um, your Matthew 15 and 4. Let's see, we're going to go through that just to give you some clarification that it's not just the Ten Commandments. It's, no, I, okay. it's, it's not just that neither, brother. You got to listen. You're right. You, you, I'm glad you said that. It's not. Now listen. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 4. For God commanded, say, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curseth father and mother, let him die the dead. Now, honor thy father and thy mother is found in the Ten Commandments, right? So we'll assume that that's just all that Christ is talking about, right? Because anybody that does, according to Moses, anybody that did not follow, I mean, um, honor their father and thy mother is put to death. Now let's see if this changed. Let's, let's see if he got more... Examples. Um, give me um, Mark, I mean Matthew 19 and 16. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may inherit, that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments.